Okay, so I'm looking outside my window and normally I actually wouldn't mind it being cloudy, but I'm a bit worried it's a, an omen for something I'm going to be talking about involving later today. But I can guarantee you it's going to be freezing out this morning. So, yep. I mean, it's been cold the last several mornings, but yeah, summer, summer is really almost over at this point. The first day of fall is going to be in a few days from now. I'm not already, I'm not already convinced that we're there, but yeah. Which means this upcoming weekend is going to be one of the last times I'm up at Cuba Lake. Maybe even the last. I mean, I'm sure I'll probably go one more time, but it really is looking like it's nearing the end. Crazy, huh? So let's get to my high, and my high is that I was right! The Chiefs won! Hooray! I picked the Chiefs to win, and they won. So for this week, I am now 1-0. Uh, again. So I was 8-7-1. At the end of last week. Let's. Here's the hoping. That I'm a bit better. And then. Actually no it's 7-8-1. and one. I completely got there. I have a losing record. So now I'm 8. If I was combining like now to. From last week I'd be 8-8-1. Eight, eight and one, But now I'm set. But 7-8-1 and one as of last week. I think I'm going to try and combine like all my records at the end of the year. To see if I wound up being right, or if I want to be more right than wrong, I might wind up doing that. And another part of my high, even though technically it was a bit of a cock tease that I'll get to in a minute, is there was something that was hot ones related yesterday. I'll get to that momentarily. And my act of kindness was I did a few things for my grandmother yesterday. Nothing major, but you know, so, but you know, it's my grandma and I love her, so there you go. Good morning, happy Friday, everyone. So, regarding the quote unquote cocktees I mentioned from Hot Ones, basically, the good folks over at Hot Ones decided to do a collaboration with Shake Shack. If you don't know what Shake Shack is, it is a uh, fast food, you know, burger chain. A really, really popular one, too. That's, oh, oh, excuse me. That's mostly like, like big city East Coast, kind of like down in New York City and like several other places. And basically, um, the people at Shake Shack are going to be having items on their menu that have some of the hot sauces that you see on hot ones, which does sound appealing. And it would certainly be a good idea, especially if you're a fan of hot ones and want to try it for yourself. But anyone, especially from my area, will tell you there is no Shake Shack around here. None. There's barely even a pizza. There's barely even a pizza hut around here, and to get to the pizza hut, you gotta go all the way to Mansfield. Yeah, I know there's one at the. There's a Target, and that has like a pizza hut. But come on, that's that can't be a good substitute. Not for the real deal. Not for Pizza Hut, man. Although again, there is gonna be there is a Pizza Hut that's gonna be opening near where I live, but they've been saying that for months and. I still have yet to hear any information on that. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking, I don't know why I'm even talking about Pizza Hut anyway, because it's Shake Shack. All right, we don't have a Shake Shack around here. I mean, at least doing a collaboration with someone like Shake Shack would make sense. I mean, yeah, some people do put, you know, hot sauce on pizza. And of course, Pizza Hut does have wings, which I hear are actually pretty solid. But that's really about it. 
like obviously making a burger or a spicy chicken sandwich or you know putting some of the hot sauce on like cheese fries that's that actually fits more in line with what you could do with those particular hot sauces from hot ones i suppose and i guess it makes sense although i guess i should add shake shack to the list of things that you know my particular area of the country needs seriously like we need like a Shake Shack, we need a Dave and Buster's, we need like a Waffle House, we need a Chick-fil-A, we need an In-N-Out. I mean, we got Five Guys. Five Guys is great. And we do have a KFC, that's also pretty great too. And we have a Popeyes, and we have an Arby's. Um, and we have the big three to some capacity, either McDonald's, Wendy's, or Burger King. So it's not like we don't have anything, but it's just really annoying that like, we don't have any of like the really cool places. Like again, Shake Shack or in and out or any of those places or Pizza Hut. There's a Domino there is a Domino's and there is a Papa John's. And I did say there is a Pizza Hut at like this one Target that's near where I live, but I hardly hear anything about it, which either means the true P diehard Pizza Hut fans are keeping it to themselves, or it's probably not as good as the real thing, like an actual Pizza Hut. So I'll let you take that for what you will. So I mentioned that there's something really important going on later today, and there is because Horseheads plays against Union Endicott tonight in football. If there was ever a game that I would hope that the players of last year would mark on their schedules, like, okay, this is the day we're getting ready for, I would hope today is that day. Because Union Endicott beat us for the sectional title last year nearly 15 years after my team lost to them in the sectional title. So, of course I'm gonna to go to that game tonight. I have to, as I really do feel that this is one of three huge must-win games for Horseheads going forward. Because the way it works is Specifically, the category of the school that Horseheads is in is Section 4, Class AA, AA being big schools. And sometimes, due to student population, they go from A to single A or double A or whatever, but Horseheads is definitely double A. And to my knowledge, only two other schools in the section have that, you know, class title. And it's Union Endicott and Vestal. Now, Vestal Horses is going to play a bit later, but Union Endicott is easily the team that I'd be getting ready for more than Vestal. Especially when, again, Union Endicott beat us last year. Especially, what's even worse is that we, we gave Union Endicott the smackdown at our homecoming. So, this is, this is a huge game. Like, this is a game where I am hoping every alumni or student or faculty who goes there just makes it loud. In fact, anyone who's watching this, go to the game night and just make it loud, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that game. Cause, you know, we go on the other home game sets. And naturally the way it works is the team with the better record will have home field advantage in the Section 4 playoffs. Now, last year, Horseheads did have it, but then Union Endicott upset us. And honestly, when I was at the sectional title game, I noticed that the Horseheads didn't really make many drastic changes 
Meanwhile, Union Endicott really changed a bunch of stuff up. And that's ultimately what gave Union Endicott the win. So this really is a case of, obviously I hope Horseheads wins, but if they do, like, it's one of those times where you can't rest on your laurels. You gotta change up absolutely everything in your repertoire if you wanna make any kind of state playoff run, let alone winning sectionals. And if Horseheads wins tonight, Having home field advantage for the sectional playoffs, that'd be huge. That'd be, it'd be exactly what you need. Especially if you're playing against Vesso and you and you know, you got, which are very far away. Like, don't have, don't go to them, make them come to us, is what we should, is the mentality here. Now, I mentioned that Union Endicott is one of three must-win games for Horseheads going forward. And for the sake of seeding in the sectional playoffs, and just the fact that Horseheads ought to be on the revenge tour right now, like, yeah, that's why you, you, tonight is a big game. It's actually really interesting because... The two games that are of this magnitude for Horseheads aren't going to be until much later in the season. We're talking like near the very end, like pretty much the end of October. Because yeah, Horseheads has homecoming and eventually they're going to have to play against Vestal. But the two games that I personally think Horseheads must win Outside of United God, of course, are Corning and Elmira. Now, for Corning, that's going to be senior night. And I would certainly hope that Horseheads, the seniors at Horseheads, really want to end their final, potentially their final home game on a, on a happy note. That's what you should do. It will also be a great way for Horseheads to prove that they can stop the run. Seriously, like, even after all these years, every time I see Corning football, they are masters at manipulation and misdirection. The instant that that ball is hiked, I can't see where the ball is whatsoever. Like, nothing. I have no idea where it is. And... It fools me, it fools everyone, at least in my side of the stands. It definitely fools Horseheads a bunch of the time. I mean, last year, the reason why Horseheads beat Corning was due, well, I mean, they were, they were definitely better at stopping the run than they normally are. But it still took a Herculean effort by the defense and a miraculous field goal kick to win it. So, this is, tonight's a big game. Like, that was a big game, and... Senior night against Corning, that's going to be a big game too. And then we get to Elmira. <laughs> now, when Horseheads first opened up its new stadium, they, gave, they easily trounced all over Vestal, which was great. The first truly big test they had, though, was against Elmira at home. Because Elmira, I live in Elmira. Horseheads is literally a hop, skip, and a jump away from where I live. The new stadium in Elmira is, I can walk to that stadium. That's how close I live. The, the new stadium that Elmira has, I literally can walk there. I mean, I'm not, I mean, the day in question, which is going to be October 28th, I'm not doing that. Because it's going to be October 28th. It's going to be very, very cold out at night. I'm driving. And I'm going to be wearing a whole bunch of layers, too. I mean, the, the hat and gloves and mittens and all that stuff. I'm definitely doing that. I, I, good Lord, I have to. It's going to be cold. Very cold. But the fact that I live, that Horses and Elmira are that close to each other means there's going to be a huge crowd of fans on both sides. And Elmira fans are just as crazy and loud as Horseheads fans can be. 
and it took a Herculean effort for Horseheads to win in overtime last year. So I can only imagine what it's going to be like this upcoming, this this upcoming year, or in late October. The tension of this area is going to be so thick you could probably cut it with a butter knife. But the important thing about Horseheads winning against Elmira really does hinge on tonight as well, because if Horseheads for whatever reason can't win tonight then their chances of having home field advantage in the playoffs is going to go right down the drain. Meaning they'll probably have to go, probably to Union Endicott Stadium, and beat them there, which would be fitting. I mean, Horse, I mean Union Endicott came to us for the sectional title game and beat us. So beating them in the big game at their house, it would be very fitting. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Horseheads absolutely has to win tonight. But if for whatever reason they can't, beating Elmira at Elmira is going to be huge. Because it'll show the world that Horseheads can win a huge game on the road. Even if, again, it's not really that far of a drive. But if they can win in a big crowd like Elmira, then, because Union Endicott, I know for a fact, is going to have a crowd of equal or greater value. So it would definitely help them. But tonight's the night to do it. So if any Horseheads Blue Raiders are watching this, I hope you all come to the game. I'm going to be there. And if you do come to the game, you got to make it loud. Like I, Like any Rowdy Raiders out there, you know who you are. You gotta go nuts. Like, you gotta make, you know, you I mean, you already do a great job of making other teams wish that they weren't there. That's great. You gotta do it even more here. If there was ever a night where you should, like, wake up feeling hoarse in the mouth, uh, you know, throw out your voice, tonight's the night to do it. And if you are going to throw out your voice, I would recommend some hot, soothing beverages, like tea. Because you're going to, there's going to be a lot of tea. I imagine there's going to be a lot. Actually, you know what, this time of year would be a great time to be drinking tea. You know, with a lot of honey and stuff like that. <laughs> now I'm thinking of that one SpongeBob episode where so it's like, ah, uh, having, having some tea with the lemon wedge and he squeeze like in his eye, why do I even bother? <laughs> oh, that's funny, Bob. That's funny. But seriously, this is a big game. I'm going to that game tonight. I'm going to be there. I'm going to make it loud. And here's the hoping that when it's all said and done, you know, it's like one of the greatest coaches in Horseheads history always said to the Horseheads Blue Raiders. If you guys do what you're supposed to do, then the W will take care of itself. Okay? I mean, I was very, I mean, I was an idiot. I didn't really realize it then. Not to mention, I was far too late in my, you know, academic and athletic career to really, you know, utilize this. But I was blessed to have some really, really great coaches. In fact, one set, one such coach is the head coach for Horsehead's football now. So, to any players who may be watching this, you really have, a, you really are lucky to have probably some of the best. You really, you probably have some of like the, literally some of the greatest coaches in Horsehead's history right now are coaching the Horsehead's football team. Seriously, you have like, seriously, like, I'll never forget when the, I was in middle school when the, when the guy who's the head coach at Horsehead's now, like, first showed up. Seriously, it's been that long. You have like the GOAT girls basketball coach coaching the linemen, I think. Like, seriously. They have a, Horses is a really great coaching staff. 
Especially when I either had them as like a gym teacher or an actual teacher. Yeah, the girls basketball coach I just mentioned, he was my eighth grade English teacher. Cool, huh? Yes, I thought about coaching, I guess. But again, in this day and age, if you want to coach, you got to be like a teacher. And I'm not a teacher. Even though, I swear, like, in Johnson City, the wrestling coach was a dentist. So why can't it be done, you know? Um, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting very eccentric. So tonight is the night, Horseheads Blue Raiders, you know what to do. This is the day you've been waiting for. This is your night. It is your day to enjoy your sport. You can do this. I'm going to be there. I'm going to make it loud. And in the words of Forrest Gump, that's all I have to say about that. So I hope y'all like this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's going to do the YouTube channel greatly. Um, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humble in this video. For all of you guys who watch and enjoy for today, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Friday. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to hear to London. I'll say back. Take care and make good choices. And whether it's in, whether it's here in Elmira or my old alma mater horse heads, 607 all day, baby.